Well, many of you know Dick Harris. He's been a member of the club for a long, long time. Uh, he is our speaker today. You, you might know him, but I don't know if you really know his background. Uh, he's been a Rotarian for over 20 years. He served terms as president of the Rotary Club of Orlando, president of the Rotary Club uh, of Orlando Foundation, uh, the treasurer of the club, and he was the District 6980 Service Committee Chair, where he successfully led the first Rotary Million Meal Marathon. Didn't think he could eat that much. Uh, he was named District 6980 Rotarian of the Year for 21 and 22. He now serves as the District 6980 District Governor-Elect and will serve as District Governor in 25 and 26. He grew up on a farm in South Dakota and attended grade school in a one-room one room rural school. After earning a bachelor's degree with a double major in mathematics and physics, from the University of South Dakota, that sounds like an oxymoron, University of South Dakota. Anyway, he took a position as a computer programmer in the aerospace industry and worked on projects including the design and fabrication of a new space-borne computer for Minuteman II missiles. Later, Dick earned his PhD in mathematics from the University of Iowa, becoming a systems analyst, working in the defense industry for the U.S. Navy. There, he was assigned to various operating commands from Hawaii to Naples, Italy. His favorite tour was with Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 4 in California, where he was a systems analyst on the operational evaluation of the Navy's F-14. Uh, he's flown in F-4 fighters and worked a short time at Area 51 in the, in the Nevada desert, which would explain that aura, that glow about him. After leaving the Navy's employ, Dick became a CFO here in Orlando and later became an educator, directing nine campuses and teaching sites in five states for Bellhaven University. Dick and Cindy, his wife of 50 plus years, have two children and five grandchildren. Son Brian is a tax attorney who has his own law firm, and daughter Lisa is a surgeon and chief of general surgery with the VA in Tampa. Both children are graduates of the University of Florida and with their families live in Tampa. Having grown up in the Western United States, Dick loves hunting and be careful around him because he's a rifle marksman. Give it up for Dick Harris. Thank you, Dan. Um, you know, you're always a little bit humbled when you have an introduction like that. And I think back, golly, I've done a lot in my lifetime, but what impresses me is we have two members of this club, John and Joe Stein, who have been in Rotary over 60 years and think of the impact they've had. Now, a little joke about John. When uh, uh, Ron gave the award to John for a moment, I thought John was speechless, but no, nah, that can't happen. <laughs> Okay, today I'd like to talk to you and take a few minutes of your time about how Rotary does good around the world, okay? And by Rotary, I mean Rotarians everywhere, both Rotary International and this club. As you know, Rotary International is 1.4 million people in 36,000 clubs in 200 countries around the world. Okay, but those 1.4 million Rotarians have many of the same financial vehicles that we use to do good. The major view vehicle used around the world is the Rotary Foundation, an arm of Rotary International. Our Rotary Foundation is the highest rated foundation in the world earning 100 of 100 points when scored by a charity navigator, the most respected and trusted foundation evaluator in existence. The Rotary Foundation has three components, the annual fund, the endowment fund, and polio plus, and I'll explain those in a moment. Locally, our club has its own foundation named the Rotary Club of Orlando Foundation. Every member of this club is a member of that foundation. As Rotarians, we do good around the world through the Rotary Foundation, through our own club, Rotary Club of Orlando Foundation, and through direct individual contributions. 
Hey, as you recall, in a recent meeting, Sandra Woodall, the leader of our club foundation, discussed its activities. The most recent major gift from our foundation was the cash donated to the Salvation Army to purchase the disaster relief trailer with showers, toilets, and clothes washing facilities. Think of a disaster. People rush to help, but what services do they have for themselves? With a mobile trailer, we can serve the first responders. We raised that money for that trailer, uh, for that gift through our foundation, through our own fundraising activities, through uh, income from the assets held in our foundation and direct contributions from members. But as Rotarians, our worldwide impact comes when we pool our resources and work together and we expend funds through the Rotary Foundation. So let's talk about how we generate impact through the Rotary Foundation. The Rotary Foundation has three components, the annual fund, the endowment fund, and Polio Plus. <laughs> the annual fund funds district and global grants. The district grants fund local projects which clubs everywhere can conduct. And the global grants involve multiple clubs in multiple countries. So those grants are a way of us multiplying our impact. The endowment is the permanent capital held within the Rotary Foundation. It earns interest, which supports disaster relief and peace efforts around the world. But we'll come back to those funds later. Right now, what I'd like to highlight is Polio Plus, Rotary International's effort to eradicate wild polio worldwide. The effort has been stupendous and only a worldwide organization like Rotary has the resources and the commitment to take on such a task. We Rotarians have been working since 1985 to eradicate polio. In fact, Dr. Jonas Salk spoke at our international convention twice. He's the creator of oral polio vaccine, which we now use. Our success has been remarkable. We've gone from 350,000 crippling cases a year when we started to just four total cases in the world through June 1st of this year. We've impacted the lives of 17 million individuals who didn't get polio because of our efforts. Since its inception, Rotarians have donated more than $2.1 billion to the eradication effort, and we've inoculated more than 3 billion children. Think about that, three billion children. But the cost of this effort is more than money. Yes, we've spent more than $10 billion in total on the effort with government support and other organizations. But we've lost 200 plus workers in the effort, most of them killed by ignorance or ignorant tribes somewhere in the world who thought inoculation was doing something bad to their children. Eradicating polio worldwide has cost billion. Today, it still costs 50 million a year from Rotary, okay? With that 50 million, we can receive a two to one match from the, the Gates Foundation 
And that gives us a total of $150 million against the $158 million Rotary spent just two years ago. But the story is more than money and a few and many lost lives. Rotary has always been the boots on the ground promoting this effort, speaking the language, winning the trust of people locally, and yes, doing the inoculations. Now those volunteers have paid a price and today we have only two countries where wild polio exists, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And it isn't the entire country, it's mostly the seam, the very mountainous seam between those two countries where people don't recognize a border and fear inoculation. Okay. To honor the lives of the 200 plus people who've given their lives for this event, this program, we can't quit. Okay. To raise the $50 million by 1.4 million Rotarians, we need $35.75 from each Rotarian. Last year, our club gave just $22.24 per capita. Now that was thanks to the hard work of David Rose who really publicized the program and we did much better than we have for a number of years but it still isn't good enough. We didn't reach the average needed and we're a pretty affluent club. So we can do better, we must do better. Now, one of the ways we can do better is to join Polio Plus Society. You can do, a, do that by giving $100 to Polio Plus. And for that, you'll get a, a pin, which like this on my lapel, which basically says you've donated $100 to eradicate polio. I hope you'll join me in doing that. Now let's talk about the Rotary Foundation. But first I wanna remind you what the Rotary Foundation is. It's the highest rated foundation in the world. And in the opinion of many, it is the greatest humanitarian organization in existence. Because we have Rotarians around the world, whenever there's a disaster, Rotarians are there. And much of the funding to support those Rotarians comes from Rotary International. That's why Rotary has the stature worldwide to take on something like eliminating polio. And to put that in perspective, only one disease in the history of the world has ever been eradicated, smallpox. Okay, so now let's talk about the Rotary Foundation Annual Fund and the ways we support it and the ways it supports humanitarian needs worldwide. The Annual Fund, which supports the annual grants to clubs and teams of club, clubs through district grants and global grants is the main way funds are dispersed. But all of those grants are matching grants. So the money that, that Rotary International or Rotary Foundation puts in is matched by clubs. So we immediately increase our impact. The ways we support the Rotary Foundation are typically three, okay? these three listed here, but let me first ask and answer the question, why should I give to the Rotary Foundation? Here are three good reasons why I give to the Rotary Foundation. First, it's our foundation. 
Rotary's foundation, and it's best in the world, as I've just explained. Second, it operates worldwide and gives us a means of worldwide impact, as we just discussed with Folio Plus. And thirdly, when all Rotarians donate together, we can accomplish things that none of us could accomplish alone or in smaller groups. And here's my answer to why should I give to the Rotary Annual Fund? Why? Well, first of all, 40% of the donation comes back three years later in the form of district dedicated funds. Those district dedicated funds our club uses to fund local projects or global projects if that's what we choose to use the money for. Secondly, through the annual fund, Rotary funds $340 million in projects each and every year. Think about that. That's just the funds. And Rotarians then multiply that through planning, through labor, through all the other things that it takes to plan and execute and complete a project. That 340 million is actually valued at much more than 1.2 billion total impact. And finally, through global grants, we have the power and the opportunity to conduct projects of our choosing anywhere in the world. Okay, so how can each of us support the Rotary Foundation through its annual fund? First, for those whose income is limited, there's the every Rotarian every year encouraging each and ro every Rotarian to donate at least $25. If every Rotarian donated $25, we'd have raised $35 million, about 10% of what the projects that Rotary funds through its annual fund. The more common giving is through the sustaining member program in which each member gives $100. That's just $2 a week. And most of us can readily afford that. We should all be able to make that commitment to be a sustaining member. And finally, there's the Paul Harris Society in which each member gives $1,000 a year to Rotary. If you donate $1,000 a year, you get this little tag to go with your uh, Paul Harris fellow pin, which says, I'm a member of the Paul Harris Society. I give $1,000 a year. <laughs> And so when you're giving to the Rotary Foundation totals $1,000, you become a Paul Harris Fellow and you get a pin like this. When you're giving totals 10000 you become a major donor. Now, I have to admit, I'm not there yet, but I'm close. And hopefully before the end of my year as a... Uh, district governor, I will be a major donor. Now, I have to admit that when I first joined Rotary, I had trouble become maintaining being a sustaining member. And I didn't always make that each year. But the more I stayed in Rotary, the more I realized all the thing ro things Rotary does worldwide, the more I wanted to give and the more pride I felt in being able to give, to be a part of an organization with that kind of impact. So I hope that that becomes your goal and that you also make a commitment to the Rotary Foundation and feel the pride of being a donor to do the things that Rotary does, whether it's eliminating polio or disaster relief or whatever we do in the world. 
Here's the record of our club the last six years. Last year, we donated $10,645. We'd originally the year, whoops, we'd originally set a goal of 10,500. And if you look down that list, every year, except 1819, we made our goal. Now, I don't know what goal that uh, Dan has set for the current year, but Dan, my $1,000 will go in, and whatever we do, we'll continue to support the Rotary Foundation. This club, in the 104 years of our existence, has donated more than $625,000 to the Rotary Foundation. I think you ought to give yourselves a hand for that. Thank you for listening. Can I answer any questions? Yes, Scott? What's in Area 51? <laughs> a, a lot of secret stuff. <laughs> nice presentation. Thank you. But uh, I was curious, what is, does Rotary go into action? I heard or I read an article where they just found polio in uh, in Israel, where the Palestinians are. Is and I don't know. You you were saying something about wild polio. I don't know if there's yep. a differentiation, but just curious what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, a number of years back, vaccinations, the oral inoculations, contained weakened polio virus, which over years occasionally in a immune um, compromised individual sprouts into to polio. As far as I know, it is not crippling, but it is serious because any virus can mutate, okay? So worldwide, there's been about 300 cases out of 3 billion inoculations over 3 billion inoculations. So we have to weigh that, the risk, against 350,000 crippling cases a year before we took on the fight against polio. So yes. I just wanted to say thank you for making the presentation. I need that PowerPoint. And I would encourage everybody to ask questions. I mean, I've been in this club for a long time. I'm a lawyer and it's complicated. I don't understand a lot of it. And I look at it every year. So please, if you have any questions, please ask. Dick, when we're talking about the sustaining amount that we pay a hundred a year, does any of that go to polio plus or do we need to put the extra hundred to cover polio plus only? Donations to the Rotary Foundation either mark for the annual fund or for polio plus will count towards your Paul Harris uh, fellow points. But if you want it to go to polio plus, you need to earmark it for polio plus. My, my recommendation would be to give 100 plus 35, which is about a little, little bit more than, than uh, a dollar, uh, or what it would be, uh, two oh, and a, two, a two and a, two and a half dollars a week. Okay. This is more of a statement than a question. First of all, great presentation. Uh, that's one of the most comprehensive I've heard at a Rotary Club ever on the Rotary Foundation. Uh, just a point of clarification to make sure we understand: we need donations for Polio Plus but it has to be separate for the annual fund because you need to make sure when you give your contributions, you indicate which of the two it is. It's gotta be for one or the other or for both, but you gotta indicate specifically uh, in that case, which is going to the annual fund, which is going to Polio Plus. And I think my encouragement would be to everyone knowing this club, everybody should be able to give $25. I, I can't imagine in 12 month period, you couldn't. I can't imagine we can't give $36 a person for the polio program. 
I'd love to see us get more sustaining members because the real goal is every member, every year, give to the polling, give to the uh, annual fund, give to the uh, annual fund $100 or more. So let's make that a personal challenge for each of us. I know we can do this. It's uh, not that difficult. The, the problem I found is people forget about it. <laughs> Here, a great presentation, you walk out the door, and a week later, you can't even remember what we talked about. So make a note right now. Let's give the $36. Let's give $100 or more to the annual fund as well. Thank you. Okay. And, and for those of you who might not know, George is the chair for the Rotary Foundation Committee for this club. Thank you, George. Thank you all for Thank listening. You. Thanks, Dick. Not bad from a kid from a one-room schoolhouse. Uh, we do have a gift for you. And... Uh, it is not just a rotary mug this year or this time. This is special just because you're going to be doing so much traveling as the uh, district governor elect. We have given you a travel mug. There you go.